in the last video, you were able to see how we calculate an odds ratio based on a case control study. However, sometimes there are variables that are associated with the variable we're studying that confound our results. For instance, if we're studying cancer and looking at benzene um, or radon in, in your home, we also understand that smoking causes a lot of cancer. Well, um, many times uh, that smoking variable will confound the results of the radon study. So we have to find a different method that allows us to uh, control for some of those extraneous variables. And we do that in a process called matched pairs. As we set up our case control study, we can uh, find variables where both the case and the control have the same exposure or variable group. So when we pick a person with cancer and we're not interested in smoking, we could find out if they smoke. If they do smoke, then we find a control person, somebody who doesn't have cancer, who also smokes. And then we determine whether that person was exposed to radon in both of those cases. It, if we find another case of lung cancer, or of cancer period and um, they did not smoke, then we make sure that the control person, the person without cancer, does not smoke either. And in that way, uh, we can kind of control for that variable. There are four potential outcomes when we look at the pairs of the cases and controls. We're no longer looking at the individual and the, the person who has cancer and whether they were exposed and the person who does not have cancer and whether they were exposed. In this case, we're going to look at the pair of people. Does this case and control, are they both exposed? Or, as in, as in this case, or is the case exposed and the control is not exposed? In fact, that's the group that we're most interested in, this group. Because if this exposure causes the disease, we will see in these pairs where the case was exposed but the control was not. We're going to compare that to when the person who has the disease is not exposed and their pair, their control group, who doesn't have the disease, was exposed. So we're going to compare these two. And of course, when the case and the control, neither one are exposed, that's not helpful in our analysis either. So we're going to focus on these two groups of people. Now we have to set up a, a study and a, and a process in the two by two table that reflects what we're doing here. So as we look at our matched pairs data, these are the people with the disease, and we're gonna look at whether they were exposed to radon or not exposed to radon, and whether they smoked. So for every line here, this line will have the same smoking status. So if this, if this person smoked, so did this person. If this person smoked, so did this person. If this person didn't smoke, this person didn't smoke, and so on. The x, the x equals radon exposure. Now we're going to look at the pair. And because, as we said before, there are opportunities when they both are exposed, as in here. And we're going to identify those in this part of the 2x2 two two table. You notice this 2x2 two two table looks a little different. We have another um, variable on the top and on the side. And whenever we're doing our analysis, we want to to describe what we're studying on the left. In this case, we want to look at the cases that have the disease, and we're going to put that on the left. The controls will be on the right. And so these are going to be the times when XX is across the line on our data. And we'll also be looking when there is an X and an O. In this case, we'll also have O's and X's because the case was not exposed, but the control was and O's and O's, okay? So we're gonna go back to our data and we'll look across the line and the number of people who were both exposed. So um, we go down the list and here's one and I put a line through them so that I know I've counted them. So there's one and here's another one, two, and that's it. So I'm gonna write two here. Now I'm gonna look at the times when there's both O's so that I can get those out of the way. Here's one, one, two, I go down the list and here's three, and 
that's the total number of times that I saw an O and an O. Now I'm going to look for the times when there's a case that was exposed and the control was not. So in this case we have one, two, three, four, five, and six times. So we have six times where the case was exposed and its matched control was not. That means that there were six times when the person with cancer was exposed to radon and their friend or whoever it was that we matched them with was not exposed to radon and did not have cancer. And um, regardless of whether they smoked or not. And then finally we have those who are, are cases who didn't have exposure to radon and their control did. So one, two, and three. And in that case, we have three. Now, the formula for matched pairs odds ratio is B over C. Because we want to know when the exposure occurred among the cases, but not among the controls. And we want to compare that to the times that the exposure happened in the people without the disease compared to when those who had the disease were not exposed. Now I know I've, I've said disease and exposure a lot. Let me repeat that one more time. In our matched pairs odds ratio, we're taking the number of people who had the disease that were exposed compared to their match that was not exposed and did not have the disease, so six, and we're going to compare that to the times when the control group, the person who did not have cancer, was exposed to benzene, and the person who had cancer was not exposed to benzene. In that case, it's three times, and that gives us two. The way we would interpret that number is very similar to relative risk, but with case control studies, we start our analysis with the disease group. With relative risk, we started with exposure. So in, in our description, we also start with the disease group. So um, if you have lung cancer, you're two times more likely to have been exposed to radon than if you don't have lung cancer, even when we control for smoking. Let me repeat that one more time. If you have lung cancer, you're two times more likely to have been exposed to radon than if you did not have lung cancer, even when we control for smoking. And that is how we do a matched pairs odds ratio.